let you meet my mama now, mama now. Just Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a talk through makeup tutorial. It's probably going to be pretty long, but I just had a lot of things and products that I wanted to talk about with you guys. I featured a lot of the products that I mentioned in my May favorites. It's actually the exact same look I was wearing in that video. Um, I just put it up this morning and I've had quite a few of you already asked for like a tutorial or to list the exact products that I'm wearing. So I thought, why not film a video today? And I did. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. It's very, very glowy, very bronzy and dewy, bright eyes. Um, I don't know, I kind of like it. I feel like it's fresh and glowy, perfect for summer, and I like the products that I use, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and you like long ones because I like long videos. I think they're like relaxing and fun to watch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. All right, so here I am without anything on my face. I went ahead and washed, toned, and moisturized. I applied the First Day Beauty one that I was telling you guys about in my May favorites. I really like it because it gives your skin a nice glow. Like I feel like my skin looks really healthy and glowy right now and like fresh and that's what I like. So this is a good base to get your makeup started for like that glowy summertime look. So let's start off with a little bit of primer. For primer today, I'm using the Benefit Pore Professional just in my T-zone because I want that glowy, dewy look, but I don't want it in areas where I get oily or where my pores are a little bit bigger because that, that doesn't look good. So just kind of around here. This helps my makeup last a lot longer throughout the day too. For foundation today, I'm going to mix two of my favorites. So I really love this Guerlain Terracotta um, Jolie Tint. It's a beautiful bronzing, like glowy foundation. And then the NARS, um, what is this one called? All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I like this one a lot too because it's very, very dewy. Like this makes your skin look like wet almost. So it can be a little bit too much, but if I mix it with this, I don't know why. It's just like the perfect color, the perfect finish, the perfect amount of coverage. So these two together, I really, really like. If you're wondering what color I am, medium in this one and medium three Stromboli in this one. Okay. So like a pump and a half of that. Shake it and like same in that, okay? Real Techniques brush um, from Ulta, the buffing brush. Mix it together and then start applying it. Time for a little concealer under the eyes. I love the Naked Skin one. It's very, very lightweight. I'm also in the color medium in this. And I apply like whatever is on the brush when it comes out. So I'll flip it to one side and go under the eye and then flip it to the other side and whatever's on that side goes on this side. And then a little bit here, down the middle of my nose and here. Okay, base is on. I don't like to set with too much powder for this look because um, I want it to remain more of that natural finish. The only place I'm going to apply powder is under my eyes so that they don't get like wrinkled right there and then also kind of like around here and here where I get shiny. I will show you guys what I do. So I'm going to use this little pointy brush from Sigma 
It's called the F35 with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is just like a translucent powder, uh, but it's one of my favorites. I really like it. I do not get shiny when I use this at all. Okay, so I apply it like a little bit here. And like just where you get shiny. Like a little bit there. Okay, and then to set my under eyes, I use a different powder. I use the uh, Benefit Hello Flawless in the color Champagne. It's one of their lighter colors. Um, this just helps to brighten up that area too. But I apply it with the same brush and just very lightly under the eyes. Okay, now it's time for a little bronzer. I'm gonna use the Paracone one that I also talked about in my May favorites. I'm gonna try to use a lot of those products because that's what I was wearing in that video and I like to talk about them but also show you guys how I use them. So I'm gonna use the Paracone No Bronzer Bronzer. And then just do a little bit on the back of my hand. And A uh, dual fiber brush is what I like to use for like liquid face products that aren't foundation. Um, so this one is from Sigma. It's the F15. I love this one. This is good for highlighter too. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and just apply it normally where you would bronzer. I'm going to place it first and then I'll blend it out so you guys will see. Okay. So forehead. Rub a little bit off on the back of your arm so there's not much product left on the brush. Then start blending it back into your hairline. If you are any tanner than I am, I don't think this bronzer would work for you. Better for light to medium skins, skin tone I mean, um, but any liquid bronzer would be pretty. I think Tarte makes one. Guerlain also I think makes one. Okay, see how pretty like and natural, am I in focus? So I think that's still pretty and natural and so glowy. It looks like you were just out in the sun, so I really like it. And like I said, it's a little bit light, so I do about two coats of it, just because I'm darker. So place it. I do it on either side, okay? And then I'll blend it in the middle. Rub some off. You'll have to wash your hands after this and then blend it back. And meet in the middle. Okay, so I just apply it like that, a little bit on the temple, and then I'll do a little down here underneath my jaw too and a little bit on the nose, okay? Wipe it off, and then start blending it. You kind of like to curve under right there. Makes your blush pop. I like to do the sides of the nose and then the top on the bottom there. Okay, super bronzy now. If you feel like it needs to be blended a little bit more, 
go back in with your foundation brush like right here and that will help really blend it all right so from here you could totally be done with your face makeup apply a little blush if you like that and then just be done I'm going to apply two other powder bronzers and the reason I do that is to just give the skin more of a glow, more dimension. By layering different products on top of each other, it's going to give you a more professional and more blended look and it just looks better. Like you know if you apply one eyeshadow it just looks like okay one eyeshadow. But if someone has a really pretty smoky eye with like a bunch of different colors and it's blended really beautifully and that it's going to look a little bit more professional. So that's why I do that. If you guys don't want to apply this much makeup, you don't have to, but I just want to show you guys like what I actually do and I love bronzer, so I apply a lot of bronzer. So next up, I'm going to apply the Milani one and this is just so that I don't know why I keep doing this because I don't have anything on my lips, but this is just so that this one will last all day and just enhance the glow a little bit more, but it's kind of like setting it with powder while still keeping it glowy. And I'm using the um, bronzer brush from Bobbi Brown. Okay, I'm not doing much. This is just kind of to bring out the shimmer a little bit more. Okay, I'm not contouring. This brush is too big for contouring. I'm just kind of like putting some color behind my cheekbones there. So I'm not doing like heavy layers. I'm just doing really light like dusting. Like you can see there's like nothing on my brush right now. It's just, I don't know. It's all about layering to me that gives it a much, much prettier look. And then I do a tiny bit of the Becca bronzer. Um, this is their limited edition one in blushed copper. And this one is a totally different color. I'll compare the two. This one is like a red rose gold highlighter almost. So they're totally different. So just a little bit of this one, more so on the areas you want to highlight. So I'll do like here, here, and like more so like the top of my cheekbones. Um, so I kind of apply it like this. Like I'll go on with the brush like that on the side. Tap a lot off. Like that. Okay. Blend it. I think that's so pretty. And then I love this on the nose as a highlighter down the center. It's just so glowy. There's like nothing that compares to this. Okay, for a little bit of blush, I feel like I look really bronzy, but my face has no like color like pink or peach or anything, and that, that feels naked to me. So I need a little bit of blush. I'm going to do NARS Deep Throw. It's like my all-time favorite with a brush from SL Miss Glam. I love her blush brushes. They're my favorite because I can use them for bronzer, blush, and highlighter, and they blend really beautifully. So I think I said this in my last tutorial, but I've been keeping my blush pretty low on my cheeks lately. I just like it that way right now. And then bringing it up and back. Okay, I'm going to apply that ColourPop highlighter I was telling you guys about. So pretty. It's in the color Spoon, and I love it. Same brush. I don't use a ton of different brushes all the time. I like to use the same ones. I feel like it kind of helps to blend things because it already has a little bit of the other product on there. I don't know why. So I'm just doing a little bit, not too much. Start kind of on my forehead, and I'm like barely touching my skin. It's already so glowy. Okay, start to blend it a little. It's so pigmented, it's like insane. I feel like my skin looks like wet. I 
I kind of just apply this all over. Just a little tip, don't ever like just, well you can if you want, but I wouldn't recommend applying highlighter just to the top of your cheekbones and leaving it at that. Always make sure to blend it up a little bit. You don't want to see like where a product starts and where it stops. That's going to make it look like, oh, you just applied a powder highlighter. You want this to like look just more like you're really glowy. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to see the product on your skin. So the more you blend it and the more you kind of move the product around, the more natural it will look. And not natural like subtle, but natural like blended. I always just do the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Dark Brown because it's easy and quick and my brows are pretty full so I don't need too much. This is going to be the longest video ever. Hope you guys don't mind. I kind of like watching long videos, like half hour videos. So, I want to do the videos that I would like to watch. Let's work on the eyes a little bit. I don't do too much, but we do a little something. First, I like to use this Mally um, shadow base. I use it all the time. It's basically just a concealer because I like my eyelid to look really even and I like it to look really bright. So you can just put it on with your finger or concealer brush, whatever's easier. Okay, I'm just going to do a tiny bit of that champagne powder to kind of set that, like a tiny bit. And I don't focus it on the eyelids, more so like crease and above because I want the shadow to kind of like stick to it. In the video, the last video I did, I used a maze, so I'll use that one again so you guys can see exactly how I did that. This stuff is so creamy, it's weird. I love it. Like a little inner corners and underneath a little bit. Not too much. I do like to apply just a little bit of a brown shadow or bronzer to give the eye a little bit of dimension, just like a soft brown color. That way it doesn't just look like a flat eye. It kind of, just so you can see the shape of your eye a little bit better. So just apply something Something light, you can do a brown, you can do a gray, whatever you want, just to the crease a little bit. I'm just using a bronzer from Stila that I use all the time. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to apply some black liquid liner and some mascara, um, and I will be right back. But I do not do anything to my lower lash line lately. I love the way that it looks. I tried it for my bridal shower and I like loved it. I felt really like bright and fresh and I felt like my eyes look lifted. So I don't apply any shadow, liner, or mascara underneath, like nothing. And I love the way that it looks. So keep that in mind. Try it. Maybe you'll like it too. All right, so we are pretty much done here. Eyeliner and mascara is on. I feel like it came out pretty much like what I had on yesterday. So I'm just gonna do um, some lipstick and lip gloss. I would put lip liner on, but I lost my pencil sharpener like a month ago. And so every single one of my lip liners is dull right now because I use lip liner every day. And I can't find my sharpener. I think I must have like left it in California or something. So I need to go buy a new one like today. But without lip liner, I'm just going to wear a Gerard in Nude. I really like this one lately. It's like a peachy nude. Ooh, that looks too nude. Alright, so I feel like it needs a little bit more color on the lips. So for the gloss, I'm going to do like this kind of like darker nude color. It's called Trawl Lip. Trawl Lip. And the brand is Real Colors. It's from Sally Beauty Supply. It was like 99 cents, but I've had it for a few years now and I like it. And I never talk about it. 
Isn't that pretty? It's like really shiny, but so light and not sticky at all. It's like not gooey, it's not heavy. So I kind of like it. I wear it often and I never talk about it. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go do my hair and you guys will see what it looks like with my hair done. Bye. All right, so this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please try out this look or these products or some of these techniques. Share pictures with me on Instagram and Twitter. I would love to see your guys' recreations. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. I make new videos all the time, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.